Can't do it right now. This pre work our hand today. Oh, too early, too early. <laughs> <laughs> I don't did it too quick. <laughs> Two shorts favorite word. Who? What's two shorts favorite word? What's my favorite word? Bitch. No. There it is. Is it? Is it? I thought you weren't gonna get this Fuck. one. You didn't get the last one. Got that shit. Bitch. Language, it's actually here. bitch. Oh. But Damn, I didn't think I was gonna get that because I was like, bought. Oh, what? But bitch? yeah, and then when you say oh. it like that, I was just like, bitch. <laughs> No, you didn't say it like that. No, but I'm saying like I in in my head. I thought you were gonna was, miss it completely. So no, 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 no. I didn't miss that one completely good, at all. Good, good. But um, I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Thank you, thank you. How many Red Bulls you had today? This would be my first one. Mm. Wow, it's crazy. It's 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 hitting. You know what I mean? It helps me if I'm like hungry. It helps mm-hmm. me, you know. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. So I get. I've been getting a lot of not a, like, not a lot of hate, but. Hey. A lot of references to the stash. Yo, know. I'm glad you finally cleaned up. You got a little clean shaven. Oh, yeah, I'm know, shocked. What, I kept the stash or I got a... I'm know. just... You didn't get a haircut for how goddamn long? It was a minute now. How long? It was... Speak to the people. I think it was like maybe like three months. Three months? Ain't no, no, no goddamn no, like, way. Maybe like two months, two months, two months. Since you got like a lineup and all that? Yes. Yeah, do they do the, they do everything? Yeah, no one wants to go get a cut, they do everything. Okay. Yeah, but it, it's been a little minute mm-hmm. and then I've been, I've been, I've been testing out the stash, you know, growing out all, you know, the other little pebbles that mm-hmm. was growing in, little stubbles. Pebbles. Little stubbles, that's what I meant. Um, can't grow a full beard yet, mm-hmm. but we getting there. Some of y'all have recommended some things um, hmm. that I, don't necessarily think that work. Um, hmm. That little, what's that roller thing? The, there's this thing that everybody been trying to tell me to do. It's the little one with the little pricks. Been like one person telling you to do it. No, but some of my homeboys, besides that person, was like, bro, you got to get one of these. You should work. I just don't understand the concept. I think the concept is it it, it puts holes, and it's opened up pores where hair follicles, follicles. You don't have ingrown hairs all over your face. No, but you if you open, I feel like that's what that's for. It's to it's open not up. The only way you're gonna gain a full beard if you don't have one is if you get a hair transplant. Ain't no way rolling fucking spikes all over your face is gonna implant hairs into your face. But the way they, all right, you might be right, but the way they market that shit is good. <laughs> the way they push. All right, them. well, you get one. You no, test it I, out. I don't think I need a beard. I think I look good with my little, my little. No, I mean, if I had a beard, great. You know what I mean. But I don't. I mean, so I got to get with what I got. You know, I got a nice uh-huh. little Steve Harvey stash. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, well, uh, Michael B. Jordan stash. Mm. And you look more like Steve Harvey. I would Honestly, say. you look like a cop right now with the stash. Wow. And I know I'm not the only one to say that, too. You look like you're about to ask someone for their license and registration. License registration, man? No, I feel like I'm Leaning on the car. Uh, can you roll down the window? <laughs> yeah, you come, come from behind me like... <clears throat> you need some aviators. License registration, sir. Sir, do you know how, long, how how fast you were going over here on uh, Elm Street? You know, what's All going right, on? well, uh, sit tight. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna pull up your insurance. I'll be right back with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go back in, get into the car. I'm gonna need backup. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> no, you need two four seven. No, copy that. Yeah, come back up. Be I like, s- hey, so I'm just gonna give you a warning here. Just slow down when you're hitting that turn over there. Make sure you see that red light. You know. Maybe you yield before you take that right on that red. Um, but y'all have a great day. And uh, thank you for being a member of the Texas County Sheriff's Department. or some, I don't know what they say. You just pulled over a sheriff? No, but thank you for being a member in our community where we're the Texas whatever county mm-hmm. sheriff's department. I don't know. I don't really get pulled over. What's the last thing I got pulled over? A mm, year ago. Oh, when we were? No, it wasn't one of No, I got a ticket after that. You got two tickets back then. I got two tickets. Yeah. One was on Damn. an Indian reservation. That was with you. Yeah. We weren't even going that fast, though. <laughs> I remember I remember that because I remember how that day played out. Yeah, we, we, all right. She called and was like, yo, there's a white castle in where, Scottsdale. Like Scottsdale. 
And I was like, fuck, I ain't never been to White Castle. So we jump in. You know, she comes scoop me. We jump, we're going. It didn't seem like we were going fast, but this cop pulled up behind us. No, I passed the cop. That's the problem. I passed the cop that was like a truck. And it, like didn't, it didn't say police on the back. It said it on the side only. So I only noticed it when I'm zooming past them in the HOV lane. I was like, fuck. Yeah, he pulled us fuck, over. Fuck, 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 fuck. And then I slowed and down. I thought we were going to get a warning when we started talking about White Castle. I look like, because he Yeah, was he's like, like, where are you headed? We're like, White, White Castle. Castle. He's like, it's not worth it. I'm yeah. like, damn it. And it gives us a ticket. Yeah. But because it was on an Indian reservation, I could just pay like half the price and it's not on my record. Yeah. Then I got one a couple months later, and I had to pay it and do an online course so that it's not on my record. You got to slow down. But you you was a – you sp- – I've watched you dr- – like last week or last week or the week before. We were, we were leaving We were leaving the restaurant at the same time. You drive as fast I, as I do. No. I kid you not. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, getting on the highway, getting to the I – like I like to do most <clears> of my <throat> driving in the middle. The closest lane – to the HOV lane, but not okay. in the HOV lane. Next, you know, <laughs> Aubrey gone. <laughs> There's no no way. blinkers or nothing. Just <clears throat> I turn. I use no, all my t- I but, use all my turn signals every bro, single she time. Would, I kid you not. Every single time, you will not see me just zooming through shit. Driving like a Formula signal. One, bro. A, a a good speed for her on the highway is around ninety. No. Yes. No, I don't go ninety. Nothing. You. F- that's fucking lot. Eighty five max. Oh wow, the speed limit's fifty. No. It's 55. No, it's not. I thought the speed. No, it's the, not. The, 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 you don't even know the in, speed in, limit in on the city? highways. Here it's 55. On highways? Or 65. 65. There it is. But you're going 85. Yeah. That's well 10 above. Right. 10 over. That's 10 over. 85 is 10 over 65? No, I said it's well above 10 over. It's 20, Michael. Exactly. But I'm saying, okay, the reason why I say that is in the state of Florida, you can go 10 above. No, you can't. Yes, Everything's you can. the same. What are you talking about? That's are just you... what you typically do. No, you can there's go no 10. There's no rule that yes, you can go 10 is. over. Where? There's a, I don't know where the fucking rule there's is. There's no rule. That's just how they drive. That says you could go 10 over the speed limit. There's no rule. The speed limit is the speed limit. Yes, but they you don't could go tend 10 to pull over. Pe- they don't tend to pull people over unless they're going above I, 10, but that's not a yes, rule. Yes, but here's the thing. The speed limit, okay, the speed limit. This guy. Is, listen, you think they say the limit is this, but you can go 10 over? They don't say that. Yes, I feel like they fucking do. You feel so like a in, lot in, of things. In Oklahoma, they have a speed limit, and then they have the minimum, right? You have to do a minimum <laughs> of 55, speed limit 70, okay? You can go 80. And be okay. Michael. Because you're 10 over. Just don't go. There's 10. no rule that says, yes, you can go 10 over without getting pulled over. Is it, is, no. Have you heard that before? There's no rule. I don't know where you think. When it says speed limit, it's supposed to be the limit. I can't stand that means if you go today. above the limit, they can fucking pull your ass over. I can't stand none of y'all. Zeke done betrayed me. He didn't betray you. I'm sorry you don't know the fucking rules. Um, I, I understand the rules, but I'm telling you, you what don't. people, what what a what a rule is You're not is saying what people up. do. I'm saying that's just what people do typically. You're saying it's a rule, and that's not the case. I wish you would pull it up right now because there ain't no fucking way. I'm gonna I'm, I'm get I'm gonna I'm get my paperwork. You know, I, yeah, get your get your I'm shit get, in order. I'm gonna get all my shit in order. I'm coming here with a nice little open book folder. I ain't never you know, heard no shit like that. And that's. That's one rule that There's, growing up, my dad always yeah, told us. Yeah, your father's probably like, okay, yes, you can go but, 10 over, but don't go over that. I remember that. one time. That's not illegal in the law, in, in the rules. But I remember one time I got pulled over and the officer was like, I was like, oh, officer, I thought I was going 10 over. He was like, now nah, you're going more, you were go, well, I was. He was like, now nah, you're going more 25 over. Like, I was going over, you know, Jesus the speed limit. I was like, damn, I didn't even expect that. He was like, yeah, he was like, there's no problem. You go 10 over, but once you get up to that 15, 20. I don't care what your cop 20 years ago said. 20 years ago? It was like maybe like fucking... 10. 20 years ago, I wasn't even driving, bro. <laughs> like, you know, I was driving a little baby... Uh, uh, you and your little fucking uh, little tyke. RC car, you know. Your little tyke was going over the speed limit. Yeah, what the fuck? But... It'd be like that. Man, it's not a rule. Just, it's... They call it the limit, because if you're over that, they can pull you over. Okay. Now, do people traditionally go faster? Of course. But that doesn't mean it's technically legal. It's crazy, huh? Man, let me tell y'all. So I don't... People always ask me when I'm hungry why I don't use food delivery. I, so, uh, backstory. I don't, I don't do... I don't do... 
um, DoorDash, Hub, Grubhub, whatever. I don't do none of that stuff. The reason why I don't do now, I did do it, you know, one time when I was like sick, <clears> and I was like, uh, this is alright, but they fucked up my order or whatnot, they messed it up. But the re- some of the reason why I don't do it is because, bro, sometimes they can really fuck up your order, like either bring you the wrong shit or bring you mm. food that you were supposed to have seven hours ago, <laughs> or just, I don't know, you know, I, I just I could understand if you order for somewhere that's hella far, you just don't want to mm-hmm. go get it. Uh, but for me, I'm just. I'm gonna just jump in the car and get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I now, Aubrey. I'll do it. She does it every day. No. You every day. Okay, how many times would you say you order food to be delivered once a week, or uh, weekly? Sorry. Maybe twice. Fuck no, you lying. I, swear. I don't. You think I get shit delivered every day? I leave my house every day. For sure. Hmm. I th- no, no. You I, good? Yeah. I th- I thought you got more food delivered. <clears throat> Why, like, why do you think that's what I do? I know I'm at home a lot, but I always leave my house at least once a day. Hmm. Now, if I've left my house and I've got, been out and then I come home, I'm like, fuck, I don't want to go get something. That's when I get food delivery. What's the worst experience you've had? <clears throat> I had two, actually, recently, like maybe a month or so ago. The first one was, what was it? I ordered... Um, now it was Taco Tuesday oh, yeah, or like a Cinco de Mayo or something like that. And I wanted these birria tacos. Okay. Fire. Okay. Those are the ones we, we, I didn't have from that place, but that's the other. Yeah. You've had those yeah. before, but there, there's this place called the taco spot and it's in Chandler and they have a uh, birria ramen and tacos and they're fire. Okay. I'm for some reason I'm, I'm obsessed with those kind of tacos Fire lately. Line, huh? So good. So I knew it was, it was, it was, I think it was Cinco de Mayo. And so I knew it was going to be busy anyways. I wasn't like, whatever. These motherfuckers took two hours to deliver from the time I ordered it to the time I got it. Okay. That's fine. But it wasn't the delivery guy's fault. The delivery guy was awesome. He kept messaging me like, I've asked him like three times. And they they say they're still making it. They're still making it. I'm sorry. I'm like, you're good. I like tipped him 100% because this man has held out. Okay. He could have just dropped the order. He could have dropped the order. He could have not delivered it. He could have done something. And he was like, give me a play by play, waiting two hours for my little friggin' 20 some dollar order. Right. He stuck by, he stuck beside it. So I uh, tipped him 100%. Now, the other one was worse. I ordered from this place, which I love, called Flower Child. Oh, God. And that shit is like five minutes from my freaking house, okay? And I just didn't feel like driving, okay? Then the the delivery driver brings the food. I think it was, you know, didn't take two hours. It was probably within like an hour, which is fine. They deliver it to my garage, <laughs> Which I think is weird as fuck. I understand, like my the way my house is set up. The it's kind of hard to find. It's hard to find the front door. You can't pull up to my front door. You have to park by my garage. There's a sidewalk on the side of my house, and then front door. It's confusing. I get it. So whatever. It's just kind of funny when it's like there's literally a sidewalk right there because I know they drive past where my front door is. You know what I mean? And they're looking for parking spots, and then they come by my garage. Whatever. So they leave it. I would just pull over and just jump out. Then they'd have to jump out, real quick. Jump down a like little oh, that water ditch. thing, and then jump over a fence to get to my front door. I didn't mind. I, There's I, no I, parking right there. It's literally just a street. I wouldn't do that, y'all. So whatever. Stay it was at my front garage. Okay, whatever. I go in my front garage. I ordered two things and like one like lemonade. There were two drinks sitting there. Neither of those were my lemonade, and a giant fucking bag of food, which at first I thought I like lucked came out up, and yeah. came up and had like food for the next week, right? Until I brought it in. My name's Aubrey. On the tag, it says Ashley. Uh-huh. Whoever this delivery driver was just went up, Grab. grabbed something that started with an A, but you didn't fully look at the name, and grabbed this bag. I thought I came up until I looked at the timestamp on the receipt. 
This was maybe like eight o'clock at night. The food was made and packaged and ordered or whatever at 2 p.m. Six hours that shit was sitting there. I had to throw it all away. You couldn't even reheat it any of it? Ew. No. What do you mean? That shit has been sitting on a shelf. Not in a fridge. What do you mean, my boy? Not heated up. You got to see it through. Sitting on a fucking shelf for six hours. Got to see it through, my boy. It is cold and not a refrigerator cold. Just room room temperature. temperature. Hey, it might still have been far. Yuck. You're disgusting. The vegetables were warm. Ooh, love warm vegetables. The hummus was warm. I'm not a hummus fan. (laughs) It's enough. I just can't. That was probably my worst experience. Damn. And that's why I don't do food delivery. Hey, they make up for it. I complain. Oh, yeah, 100%. First thing, whenever Aubrey has an issue, she goes to Twitter. If you tweet, these companies, they'll, they'll, they'll respond. They have a whole team for that. They have a yeah. whole support team that will be like, oh, my God, here's a, We messed up. I got a credit for the, the tacos. I got my whole shit credited. A gift card or something? I got a whole order from Flower Child. Yeah, they... I don't even expect that shit, but then they just do it. So yeah. it's like, okay, cool. Of yeah. course I'm going to, you know, like the one guy, I tipped the delivery driver and he kept that because you did your thing. Facts. Freaking the other ones, no. Yeah, no. That's Switch. crazy. Well, I, I want to get into my soft topic of the day. Oh, God. Uh, damn. I don't damn. even know what your topic is. Let's hear it. <clears throat> so I've been, I've been, a lot of people have been sending it to my way. Um, I should have got the name. I, I'm not going to put the other podcast on blast or anything like that. Um, it's a very popular podcast. Um, it's uh, with a group of gentlemen based out in Miami, obviously. You know the podcast. I'm say it. Oh, yeah. Go, is more? Fresh and fit. Yeah, no. Uh, that's the... Yeah. And uh, don't get me wrong. Some of the stuff is funny at times. It's the worst podcast, it's, it's, Some of the stuff is funny at times. But here's, here's, here's where I'm having an issue. Um, that I feel like I just need to kind of address because I'm not going to sit here and... I'm saying a lot of guys repost it thinking it's like kind of cool. Uh, and I'm just like... like I, I, I get it, but then I'm like... Mm, I can't really get on board with your partner. Um, just I understand you bringing women on the podcast, right? But regardless if it's your platform, obviously, if I bring somebody on, I'm going to be respectful. Mm-hmm. You know, reg- Obviously, this is our... Platform, Mm -hmm. it could be somebody that we don't fuck with or not cool with, whatever. But I'm gonna still be respectful, Mm -hmm. and I've seen, I've seen some hella disrespectful stuff on there in terms of women. Now, I'm not saying I don't know what these ladies are. You know, I'm I'm not condoning if they are disrespectful. You know, I don't know all that. But just based off, if you bring somebody on the show, right? I mean, all bad. You kind of get disrespectful, and there's no disrespect coming from them towards you. It's just, it's, I just feel like it's kind of unnecessary. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, yeah, y'all can agree to disagree. Y'all may have two different, you know, opinions on something, but it's just getting out of hand to the point where I'm just like, like, bro, like other, like, is that's like, it's not really how to move. Like you may, you may need to say what you need to say, but you can go about it in a different way. Like, I mean, let's no. be honest. He, 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 he has, the way he views certain stuff, that's just how he views it. He's entitled to his own opinion. You can tell he doesn't get pussy. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Listen. He he, has literally brought girls on his show that he has found on seeking arrangements. Couldn't pay their requested um, allowance because seeking arrangements is a sugar daddy website. Is it really? I didn't know that. Yes. He posted himself on seeking arrangements as a sugar daddy. No, no, as the, no, no, I want to be. The other way around. We'll talk later. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and this one girl was on a show, not on that episode I know you're talking about, yeah. but there was another girl that was like, um, sir, you found me on Seeking Arrangements, messaged me, you couldn't pay my requested however much a month allowance, and then told me to just come on your podcast. He's literally trying to find chicks through Seeking Arrangements to come on his podcast to then de- like degrade yeah. and talk however he fucking wants. And it's just like, I can just tell. Yeah. You don't get you don't get women, period. I, I just think you can go about it totally I think different. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody he's brought on, even fucking Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner was on Brittany Renner was on there, and they talked so much shit about her, and then she got on the show, and she, she shut their asses down and was like, this, this, your, the name of your podcast is whack as fuck. 
all the shit you talk about. And they had no comeback at all yeah. for anything she said. She's like, I'm here now. I didn't even want to come on your podcast because it's so whack. But I'm here. So what do you got to say? And they, nothing. They couldn't yeah. have any comeback. I, I mean, and obviously they're going to continue their podcast, keep doing the thing, which is. No, but that, I'm pretty it's, sure the, the episode you're talking about specifically that is really going around online yeah. is it's just, it's the just one where he. Well, I don't know if it was him or the other guys were talking like there's. Like they were saying, this there's is their other platform. Women. There's other women on there, yeah. but I'm pretty sure someone was comparing the black woman to like Harriet Tubman and something else, like how oh, she I looked. See, I didn't see that part. How I she looked. And they were like talking down on this black woman. There was another girl that was like apologizing because she tried to speak up. And then they, you know, yeah. she probably got I, nervous and whatever. And he's like, look, you're coming on our podcast and we get to talk to you however we want. Motherfucker, what? Yeah. No. And that's where I must. Let me. That's that's that small dick energy. And I've said that before. Small dick energy. I, I And here's how I view that. It's just there's no need to be disrespectful. Like they're really it like don't get me wrong, there's 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 women that done me dirty, said crazy shit, but that doesn't mean I'm disrespectful. But for you to just be like, This is our podcast, yeah, we can 100%. talk however we want. Oh no. Which, I'm don't alpha you're, rah. You're, Shut you're, the fuck up. <laughs> you're entitled to say what you want on your show, yes. But at the same time Yeah, but there's gonna be just as with with anything in life, there's repercussions to everything 100%. you do and what you say. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You can say anything you want. But if it's disrespectful or it's just so out of pocket, people are gonna come for you, yeah, and yeah. people are not gonna respect you. Yeah, no, and it's just, it's just honestly, it's, 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 it's not a good look, you know, for us. And I say us men because he's, I mean, he's a man, you know what I mean. But it's just like there's a lot of guys. A man who pushing it. I'll call him a boy. But keep going. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> You I said have, what I said. I see that. Um, you, you have to take into consideration uh, when other men repost his stuff or he says something. Because he's had, I'll, I'll, I'll say he'll this. He'll say, yeah, he'll wild say certain shit stuff. He'll and say wild guys shit. Will love it. And he'll say stuff that sometimes you think about it like, okay, this may be somewhat true, right? Sure. And, and guys will repost it. But at the same time, but the when more you, shit you watch about him, it's like, what the fuck? And this is just where, 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 where especially. If they're talking down on like like he's he's not I don't even know what he is what his ethnicity is or anything but to talk down especially on black women I that are on your show exactly yeah. well it's just it's and here's here's where I'll leave it in terms of my opinion on it we we, we can go about it a lot like respectful you know what I mean we don't have to like um you, you don't need to sit here and degrade. When, you don't need to degrade anyone. You know what I mean? It's just like it's just so unnecessary. You There's know a mean? difference between joking and like just and having make, different and being opinions. funny and having di and respecting someone else's opinion and what they're saying and shit and just obviously bringing women on your show to degrade them and to talk down and talk crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just yeah, no, and and that's like uh, the way I see it is like. What if I put my mother in that lady's or that woman's shoes? You know what I mean? We're like, yo, why are you talking to my mom like that? That's hella disrespectful. Because I know for me, like I've seen, I've had a situation where somebody was, we were in a store and uh, my mom was working a part-time job at a grocery store because she likes doing mm -hmm. that. And uh, I was there because us being three boys or a lot of boys, uh -huh. we're always going to the shop trying to get some, some free, free shit or from your mom. mom. Yeah, yeah. And going in one time and he obviously is, we're all football players and you know in high school we were pretty big but we were always going there and when there's somebody talking to my mom just hella disrespectful now obviously I didn't go out there just like slap me hit it. no I'd be like hey watch how you talking to my mother you know what I mean like and he was like oh I apologize you know what I'm saying I'm just like no that's good just watch your tone and watch how you, she's trying to help you mm -hmm. you know what I mean if you put your mother in that situation you're gonna say the same thing where it's just like yo watch how you talking to my mom like, I mean, know. but those girls are people's daughters. Yeah, exactly, they or, might be moms. One hundred percent. So that's why I'm just like, just be, just be mindful. Just, you know what I mean? Be more respectful. That's it. You know what I mean? He just projects motherless behavior. I, I I try to be respectful to all women. You know what I mean? You know, I know we say crazy shit at times, which is fine. Forgive us. Some of us don't always <laughs> think before we fucking speak. Same with women, but no, which is which is fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if we go about it, say we say some crazy shit, we're like, ah, I fucked up there. You know what I mean? Or I, I, then that's different than, oh, I'm standing by. You know what I mean? Just, you know, it's just, it's, it's two different. A, a man that can 
accept that he made a mistake or said something wrong, that's growth. A man that will defend a civil action that know is wrong is weakness. It's just, it's a no for me. Yeah. But, so, uh, that being said, ladies, I'm here to respect you. I can't take it. <laughs> I'm sure. I held out. I held out on that laugh for so long, dog. Hey, they need to give me a fucking TV show. I'm telling you, Hell they need no. to put me on some type of Netflix series. Cause I know what it is. What? There's like a certain confidence that comes with like a fresh shave. I no, feel like. No, it's not. I'm I'm like this all like the this, time. This aura, this vibe. You I'm know like what this I mean? All the time. Bada bing, bada boom. Baby. I mean, I feel. I just feel like there's so much more confidence when you're more well groomed. You know what I mean? You know what they call that? What? Big groomed energy. Listen, this is how I see it. And there's only way, one way to get that. Get a haircut. Manscape. Oh, yeah. Got that BGE, big groomed energy. You got to. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, that chafing cream for the Manscaped be working. The what? The chafing cream. What's chafing cream? When you chafe. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were saying shaving. No, I the said, what the hell? It's the, it's the little, I ain't never heard that little, shit. It's, it's called ball deodorant. You know, you put a little bit loud. Damn. Listen, you loud. For men who lift them legs, you know what I'm saying? Work them legs, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. you, you get a little lotion, put it in the inner thigh, bro. Your ball's going to thank you. Because you know, the friction is going to make a nice, smooth transaction. It's beautiful. <laughs> transaction. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna flow. Bro, I use that shit every day. First, after, as soon as I get out of mm. the shower, dry, you know, Put that thing on it. I feel like a damn. I feel free, free. Well, free. You, you can get that big groomed energy with the biggest and ultimate hygiene bundle that Manscaped has yet. It's called the Platinum Package 4.0. Okay. Now it includes the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, and of course the wow. Weed Whacker. It also includes other things: the body wash, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner the ultra pre premium de deodorant, crop preserver, crop reviver. And then you also get two free gifts with that package. You do get the boxers, and then there's also this shed travel bag that I don't have with me. So that's all part of their brand new Platinum Package 4.0. So make sure you stock up on that. And you can also get 20% off and free shipping by using our code WITAF at manscaped.com. And I, I would say this, gentlemen, if you uh, want to get the boxes, just go up one size. You know, I, I like to keep a little room, you know, for my things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your things? Yeah, I got, there's two of them. What did you do? Like, things. I have the bullets. <laughs> the balls for my things I have two of them <laughs> yeah I'm saying like the balls and then All right. butter, you know what I'm saying but you gotta let them I think in. boxers are kind of made that way no some I thought so too but then I had a, I don't like I don't like my boxers too snug it's just you know if like if I'm wearing them throughout the day like I wear compressions when I'm trading you mm -hmm. know what I mean that's you know keep tight snug but I like a little breather breather mm -hmm. trip you know what I mean? Through the day. I don't know what word you just said. Uh, it's a mixture of breathe and then chur. I guess. <laughs> so breathe it chur. What the fuck did you That's just That's the new say? word of the day. Definition? Giving your balls breather. A breather. Breathe a chur. Breathe a chur. <laughs> Watch that be an urban dictionary by the end of the week. I'm telling you, bro. Ain't they no need fucking to... way, dog. Watch them give me a Netflix show of me making new words. No. I bet y'all motherfuckers watch that shit. Breathe a chur. <sighs> It'll be like your word and the word you're trying to say. No, it'll be like <laughs> the word and then a different word that means the same thing. God, what I like just breather, said. but breather. Sure. All right. I thought that was great. I'll let you know if Urban Dictionary's hiring. No, I don't want to work, son. I work for myself. All right. You're done. Microphone stay for Oh, you're playing. All right. Stay for Listen. Nick Cannon needs to be stopped. I don't. I don't know. You, this is you. I, <laughs> Nick Cannon is. I've given up. A on menace. Him. <laughs> yeah, like I haven't given up. But Nick, I just don't know how you keep tabs on all these children, and then I also don't know why you ain't haven't learned how to pull the fuck out. Right. Brother, are you okay? If not, go seek help. He actually does go to therapy. He talks no, no, about I, it. I don't think he needs therapy. I, I think he needs a vasectomy. Yeah. 
I think he. I'm sorry. Nothing. No, I, I, I don't take it the wrong way, Nick. If you're watching this thing, I, I'm not saying you can't have more kids, brother. Oh, he but, is. Oh, okay. Well, just keep doing your thing, brother. But I'm just saying, you know, if I, I, was, I, hope, I hope it's planned. I hope it's not like supposedly he says why. they're all planned. Okay, then keep doing your thing, brother. You're and doing that a great he job. has kids with who he wants to have kids. Hundred percent. More power to you. But it, it, more power to you, brother. More power. Now, to you. I will say he does not miss a baby shower or a pregnancy announcement photo shoot. Hell no. He's you been to don't. every single one of and them. They're good. They're good ones. Yeah. You know, yeah. Listen, I give you, bro. I I I give you this. Nick Cannon's probably a damn good father because it's it just based off of he he says he loves spending time with his kids. Hundred percent. You know, what I mean? he shows up. He's there, uh, which you know, not sadly to say, not every dad is. You know, what true. I mean? But, He's there, regardless if he has mm -hmm. 6, 10, 12, 25 children. He's there. Well, you know he I mean? currently has seven kids with four women. That's not too bad. Four of the kids were born within a few months of each other. And then he does have a woman that is currently pregnant with his eighth child. I don't know if that can be planned. But wait, there's more. <laughs> uh, today, like literally before this, one of his baby four mom. current baby mothers... Um, the mom of his second set of twins um, announced that she's a preg she's pregnant again. She didn't say whether it was with Nick, but she just had the twins a year ago. Just saying. Um, and then she posted that she started an OnlyFans that where she'll be posting exclusive content and uncensored conversation to answer everyone's questions. So my question is, would you pay fourteen ninety nine a month for that? Fuck no, I don't pay five. To find out whatever questions you wanted to ask one of Nick I mean, Cannon's I think, five I baby think moms. It's a, I think it's a good idea, and I think people are going to ask because they're curious. Like, oh, yo, yo. Like, I don't. Huh? You pay fourteen ninety nine to you, ask a woman. You you may not, but there might it's be. It's not Nick Cannon's only fans. It's, no, but she's going to answer quite. Uh, one of the questions are probably going to be like, oh, was you and Nick Cannon's thing, you know, planned? And, she, and the thing is, she just made $14 off you for to answer that question. <laughs> she so, only made 80% of that. Okay, 80% of that. So honestly, she is a smart businesswoman. Okay, well, she currently has one post up and three likes. Oh, okay. We got to do some marketing, baby. <laughs> she did. She posted it. Shade Room, all of them reposted it. Oh. And this was two hours later. You're doing some good marketing then. If Shade Room got it. Well, they just posted because it's a woman. Paid. It's one of Nick Cannon's baby mothers who had his twins a year ago mm -hmm. saying she's pregnant again. Yeah. But not officially saying who the dad is. I mean, it's probably Nick. It's Nick. Yeah. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. She just wants people to go subscribe so yeah. she can be like, yes, it's Nick's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you paid $14 to find out. <laughs> she already fucking knew. That's crazy. You just think about that. You paid money for an answer you already fucking knew. We all know. Like what? What burning questions do you have about one of Nick Cannon's baby That's moms? Like, if anything, ask me. I'll I'll, I'll do it for free. <laughs> like, cash you, at me. Yeah. No. You I'll tell you right to, now. You don't have to do that. <laughs> what is your question, sir? You want to know if Nick Cannon has eight children? Yes, Nick Cannon has eight children. What is your next question? Were they all planned? He said they all planned, so yes, he just they were all he planned. actually just did an article in Men's Health magazine where he oh. talks about all of this stuff. But yeah, yeah he no. said they're all planned, all that shit. And he may be in in a uh, uh, what do you call those open? Uh, well, he's he's is it a like an like open M? relationship. A monogamy? No, <laughs> is it monopoly. He's struggling. No. A is monopoly. It? Not a monopoly. You know the word I'm talking. He's about. He's not What's... monogamous. Okay, yeah, but he it may be. Who knows? But... Which. Listen, he Nick's, might though. Nick's gonna do what he wants. Hundred percent. These women choose to be with him. Hundred percent. Couldn't be me, but they choose we to know. be with him. Yeah, and, and they choose to have kids with him. And if that's all that matters. It does take two. It does. Couldn't yeah. be me, but it takes two. That's all that matters. Can you imagine? And he's um, he's can making. Can you imagine if I was like, "Hey, I'm the fifth baby mom." To Nick Cannon. Yeah. Like you told me. Yeah. What would you say to me? I said, "Congratulations, Ugh. bro." You know, Listen. Go ahead, take your leave and uh, <laughs> take my leave. Yeah, I gotta yeah, we, take maternity leave. Yeah, what an actual fucks. We'll, we'll, we'll provide that. Absolutely not. <laughs> Listen, like I said, they can do what they want. It's just they've made that choice. Uh, when you already have one pregnant with your kid, like you had four kids within a couple months span with these women. That's what, but that's why. And they're I all just, like, I love you. I can't believe we're, we've gotten here after all these years. Yeah, Every single one of them. I don't understand how that can be planned. Like you're you're planning. Oh, I'm gonna go 
get this girl pregnant and then this just nutting every woman. Unless y'all have that all like. I think he does. I'm sure he makes it known that he's just gonna do his thing and they can do their thing type of situation, which is fine to be uh, honest and upfront in the business side. Like he has his own TV show. He has multiple TV shows, I believe. Yes. Doing well, do hey Nick, you doing well for yourself? Kids are expensive. Just saying. Yeah, no, but he's making good like TV shows. A hundred percent. And I don't know what time his show comes on, but I know it's like more of a morning, and then he does like another day show. Yeah, he has a bunch of yeah. Wild and out, remember that? Yeah, and he still has royalties. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, wild and out movie royalties. Yeah, so you know you you doing good. But kids are expensive. Yeah, no, hundred percent. But you know, kids are kids. You know, it's 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 a beautiful thing. And to have 9, 10, 12, 35, you know, it's just, it's, it's, congratulations, yeah. brother. You know, it can't be me, but congratulations. <laughs> uh, man, Some pe- you... people in the comments call him Father Abraham. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but once again, congratulations, my brother. Um, I just can't believe he's doing this with a baby formula shortage. I think he'll be all right. <laughs> I think he'll be all right, too. Yeah, I, I, I think they'll probably breastfeed, you know what I'm saying? But, That's fine, but when you stop, sure. not everyone can. And sure. not everyone does. That baby formula shit is no joke. I saw um, in the- Arizona's no, like the number two state for like the biggest shortage. Yeah. No, well, I was in the store the other day and I was walking down the aisle. It wasn't getting no baby shit, so don't don't try me, y'all. But, you know- it, it, <laughs> Yeah, you got it, an it, announcement to make. No, no. <laughs> not, not that I know of. Um, but no, nah, the, the whole aisle was gone with the baby formulas and, you know- I have a goddaughter, you know what I mean? I'm just like, but I think my goddaughter, she's far, far away from this place. So I think she's good <laughs> on baby formula. But I was just like, I was a little concerned. I was a little concerned. Yeah. So I was just like. Do you gotta hey. understand, not, every, not everyone breastfeeds for a certain amount of time. No, 100%. And some, some people still breastfeed their kids when they're three. That's ridiculous. Some still breastfeed in their child, they're like seven. That's disgusting. No, I don't want to say it's disgusting, but that's that's a little odd. Some famous people still breast their feet. I think I've read about that. I'm I'm not gonna say no names. So I don't know. She lives know. out here. Can't say it. Once again, oh who? I don't. We'll leave it at that. Coco and Ice T. Oh, I knew that. I saw that on on, on TMZ. Hey, do your thing. Yeah, hundred percent. They live out here. Coco then Chandler. Yeah. Oh, they live by me. Um, Ice T live out there too. They have a place in like probably like New York and other places too. I oh, think true. or Jersey. Something yeah, I like know that, if that's if that's what they do, you know, more politics. I just think that, and again, it's different. I don't have kids, so don't come for me. But if the kid can eat solid food, talk, and walk around, I think it's time to cut them off. You know. But I feel like everybody's entitled to their opinion. Oh, hundred percent. Because I'm want. the same way when it comes to having kids on leashes. <laughs> I do not like that. No, like, it, and nobody come for me now, but I'm not a fan of you putting your kid on a leash. I don't like that. <laughs> like, I see that a lot at Disney World. Yeah. And I'm there a lot because of my Do little, they still do that? Because I feel like yes, that was a yes, thing no, like years they, ago. No, they still do that, bro. Like, please. Like, I mean, it's your choice at the end of the day. But please, I don't want to see your child running and you just, oh, like, it's just, no, no, that's not mm-hmm. it. Please don't put your child on a leash. And I know you're I know you have good intentions, but like there's a thing called a stroller. There's a thing called a a uh uh what do you call it? A, a harness. A harness. You know what I mean? You can hold your child. You can hold your child's hand. You know, there's a lot I've done all of those, okay? <laughs> but never have I ever put a leash on Elizabeth. All right, never. You know what I mean, so I'm never going to. <laughs> I mean, and she, she's um, she's about to be six. Please don't do that. I would just be afraid that I would tug it too hard and they'd go flying. Bro, I seen. Get I over seen, here. But Whoosh. here's the thing. What is this Mortal Kombat? Yeah. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Fuck. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Kids just standing there. You know what just came to my head about Mortal Kombat? What? There's one person. <laughs> I know what you're yeah, thinking. I can't. Let me move on. But I saw a video. The final boss. Yeah. What does that? Have? Okay. <laughs> Just leave it. Leave it. Okay, leave let's... it. There's one person. There's no. <laughs> fuck. You got me all. Like, cause I'm sorry. I saw a video not too long ago where this lady was dragging her child through an airport with a leash harness. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like. Like. Now. Once again, I don't know if the kid enjoys this. I don't think he could, but it was <laughs> He's just probably like, just over it. He's just like fine. But still, it's just like that's pick up your child. One, that floor is dirty, but two, pick up your child. 
Oh, you, you're going to hate this. We're grown. What? Well, one time it was like maybe a couple years ago before before my second nephew was born. He did it voluntarily, though. What? Gabe, my first nephew. We were in like a Target and he's like pushing the cart. You know, he's he was probably like two, he, three, four. I get, he probably laid yeah. and, and he started, started pushing the bottom of the cart and yeah. then he pushed it and he dragged himself yeah. that's through diff- Target that's, like that. That's a kid making... That was the funniest shit I have ever seen. I probably still have videos of that. We were crying. That's just a that's just a kid being That's a kid. not on a leash, though. Yeah. When you... F- that's him being a kid. Dirty you know I mean? ass floors, though. Yeah, that's children's stuff. But when you forcibly put your child in a leash and drag them across... <laughs> The uh, uh, Chicago O'Hare Airport. There's an issue, <laughs> and Chicago O'Hare is one of the biggest airports in the world. Yeah. And it's also very disgusting. Okay, so please don't do that. And I, next time I go to Disney with my little one, I don't want y'all. You know, I don't want to see y'all with children on leashes. You know, carry them, push them to strollers. You know, Disney will provide. Is you there an with age these. limit to strollers? Yes, if your child can fucking walk. And when I mean walk, I mean like walk a lot. Like, okay, let me give you the age limit. I think if your child is 15 years old, don't you dare put him 15? in my Fifteen. Sh- I've seen some big kids. Ain't no fucking I've way, I've seen Michael. some big kids in some strollers, bro. Ain't no high schoolers in strollers. 15? You're not in high school. You graduated at 18. Oh, fuck. If you're 12, you shouldn't be in no strollers. Middle schoolers? Yes. I've seen some crazy shit, bro. What the fuck? That's that, if you you're know what? able to walk, you know what? That's a Florida that's shit. That's that Florida ass shit. Yeah, that's that Florida shit. If if you're able to walk a long period of time, you don't need to put your child in a stroller that you know damn well they can't fit into it. All right? I've seen children getting stuck because y'all want to force them in these little baby ass strollers. That's so unnecessary. Okay? Mm-mm. Your child has has legs. A lot of you a lot of a lot of your parents sit here and say, oh, I want my child to go out more or play outside, but yet you neglect them. From moving, from being active, okay? <laughs> I remember when, you know, I went to school, we would go home, do our homework so goddamn fast so I can go outside and play tag. Nowadays is Until the street light came on. 100%. But nowadays, people go home, they just want to play on the video games. And that's it. And Snapchat on their phone for the rest of the day. Mm. It's honestly just sad. But just just don't put your kids on, on them strollers or them, 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 them harnesses no more. It's just honestly, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. That's what I have to say about that. Mm. And you're not going to catch me with my... No, I'm disappointed. I'm going to catch you with what? I'm not putting Elizabeth in a harness at all. I've never done that, and nor will I ever. Okay. She I don't never, expect you to. No, 100%. She, she, I would either carry I her. just didn't think it was a thing anymore. Oh, I yeah, thought yeah. it was like a few years Bro, ago. It was no, like a, it's a big thing. monkey backpack leash thing. No, it's still a thing. It's still a thing. And Ugh. it's just like. Honestly, Disney could probably capitalize off of that. They probably have already. You think so? They yeah, probably have like a Mickey Mouse yeah, backpack with a leash, without, the tail. Without a question. <laughs> yeah. That, what, why does that sound like a whip? Because you pull them back. I don't know why. Jesus Christ. I just, uh, yeah. that's all I picture. Just, just Disney has strollers, okay? You can purchase them. Uh, they're a little expensive, but you, you can afford it if you're going to Disney, all right? You, nobody goes to Disney and think they're not going to spend no money. Mm, facts. You, you're going to Disney, you're going to spend at least $1,000. You're going to spend like three times as much as you normally would anywhere. 100%. It, it costs goddamn $45 just to park your car to then walk five miles. Just think about that. Jeez, Christ. Park to then walk. Hmm. There was no point in parking. Nope. No. You know what I mean? And, you know, the magic band. Shuttles. Yeah. You go into the Disney gift shop. I love Disney. Don't get me wrong. I've spent a lot of money there. But you go into the Disney gift shop, you get a nice little water bottle for six seventy five. Six seventy five. dollars oh, For a bottle of water? Ain't no way. Six seventy five. dollars <laughs> Six seventy five. Hmm. So, for all you families that are going to take your children to Disney World and Disneyland, start saving now. It's in your best interest. Or give a travel agent. That'll also help. Thank you. Just like a unsponsored plug for Disney. I mean, I, I was I in 2019 and 20. I spent almost every weekend at Disney. Why? Well, we have annual annual um, like passes, and mm-hmm. Elizabeth wants to go. Oh. 
all the time. Now, but we I feel like there. you don't like roller coasters. Fuck no, but... Did so I, what'd you do at Disney? I did roller coasters. If that's what she wanted... Bro, I got a video of me screaming on the Frozen ride. Like, that <laughs> shit was so scary. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That shit was ridiculous. But I had to. What? I've never been on it. What, what is it? It's just like a... It's like a... It, you, so it... It's they, not like... This is how they get you. Is there a drop? No. Yeah, there's, no, there's a drop. There's multiple. This is how they get you. They make it seem like it's a... Frozen ride, you know, you get to listen to the music. <laughs> and then they hit you with two unexpected drops. I'm just like, what was the point? Children on this fucking ride. You trying to kill me and the child? Fuck. Damn. Fuck, man. Hmm. There was one time I could I didn't even fit on the baby roller coaster. It was just too big. And that was the only roller coaster I was gonna do that day. Until they got me on that goddamn <sighs> seven dwarfs and the all right, all right, I just, just Jesus tough experiences. Christ. I didn't know you were such a professional of yeah. Disney. Listen, I, I, an yeah. expert, if you will, but I, you're not a Disney adult. No, absolutely not. For sure. No, there's a difference. Yeah. There's, I have little one, okay? You're not like reasons, reasons. decked out in Disney, got it tatted on you and shit. No. I can only imagine. No, I go to Disney. I work, I, I the only thing that Disney really, well, Disney gave me a lot of experiences. One thing that Disney really helped me was it got me comfortable wearing a fanny pack. And when I mean a fanny pack, I mean it helped me wear a fanny pack on the, on the front waist. You know what I'm saying? Like like an old school dad. You know what I mean? Because I just had to. There was no way I was going to walk around here with these things in my pockets. So I put everything in the fan. Hey, anything's better than a coin purse. You can't put shit in a coin purse. Exactly. Disney. I never wear a coin. The thing I don't understand is my last topic about Disney. I don't understand when people put full ass fits on for Disney. Like, what like, do you mean? Like, 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 like are they going to the club? Matching, oh, no, okay. Like they like going, club no, I, I think the matching thing is vacation. That's cool. Well, you put on a fit like you're going to the club, but you're going to Disney World. The biggest mistake you can ever make. Hmm. You better wear some comfortable ass shoes, some nice breathable shorts, some nice breathable boxers, <laughs> you know, and, and a nice comfortable shirt. And you better bring some sunscreen and a hat mm-hmm. and an umbrella. Because Florida weather, one second is nice, next second is goddamn hurricane. Mm-hmm. That's it. And some sunglasses and some, and, some, and some lotion, sunscreen, and some cash, God and damn. some water. All right. So pack everything. Yeah, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Better go Unless you want to pay triple there. Facts. If you want to buy everything at Disney, well, you rich. Don't spend hundreds. You're gonna hundreds, hundreds and don't hundreds. Don't spend hundreds just walking into man. I could talk about this shit for days. Just mm. no more leashes. Thank you. Have a great day.